now here I am going to do a bit of a mix up. So starting with E23. Remembering the lights coming from this direction. Just gonna leave highlights along there. Now I'm going to use E13. Just a little bit darker. E35. They're all quite similar. And I'm doing that because I don't want there to be too much variation in the hair, but everybody's hair does have natural highlights. I'm just trying to get those different shades in the hair. Now then I'm going to come in with a darker colour, so I'm going to use E25. And I'm just adding little flicks to define the hair stroke a bit more. And E29. It's quite dark, so I'm just trying to be very gentle. Soften that out a tiny bit with E25. shaded there under her arms. I'm just putting a bit more flicks there. And back to E23. And I'm just going to go back again to E29 and redefine those flicks a little bit. Now I'm just putting that W1 over this area opposite to where the light is coming from. Pushing it back a bit with the blender. Let that dry. But while I'm letting that dry, I might just come down and do her socks. So I might use the same colours actually. So W1, just a bit of shading on that side and then flicks down there. We jump up a bit higher and do W4. It's fairly dark. A bit more shading with the W on her legs. Flicking out from that first line. Just to soften it. Now I'm going to come back with the blender. 
flicking back into it, which just diffuses that colour a little bit. I'm going to use those browns for her. So I'm just going to start with E23. It's dry up here now, so I'm just going to come back in with that W4 and just add in some definition where those fold lines are. So under those creases. And then underneath this fold and up in here then to the W1 again just flicking out from those lines definition over here where we're getting the shadow because the lights are coming from this way remember I'm going to come back in with the blender again and just Away a bit. 